guys welcome back to a new vlog today we're starting off on a saturday and i've had breakfast i've got ready i've got dressed and now i'm just about to leave the apartment with philip we are going to go and have a full day in stockholm city I feel like we've both been working quite a lot lately so we haven't really had time to spend and it's Saturday, it's the weekend so why not um, I want to go look at Cartier hopefully if the line isn't too long but let me show you guys what I'm wearing because my outfit is quite phenomenal today if I say so myself these jeans, I've just got them and let me just say I am in love with them they are the perfect, perfect fit, perfect wash and i think i'm just gonna wear them a whole bunch they are from a brand called girlfriend i got them off of revolve and i can make sure to link them down below i'm wearing them in size waist 26 Bear in mind they're quite large in size i would say so definitely size down in them this is what they look like from behind and they're just per Perfect, like perfect and the quality is amazing and i'm just wearing this little tank top from asos oh my god i'm already sweating like you can see it below my boobs but yeah it's really hot make sure to link my outfit down below for you guys to find it easily um and yeah let me just put on my shoes pack my little bag and i think we're gonna take bikes to this city also before heading off i'm gonna put on my hair perfume which is something i recently got this one from jisoo and I'm kind of wearing it like a daily fragrance now because it smells so amazing and it's quite strong as well so you don't need to have a perfume and it just smells very very like newly washed, very fresh, very luxury so that's that, now we can actually head off Sorry, Philip is on FaceTime with one of our Dubai friends, but we are headed off to Cartier first. I want to look at a bracelet, Juste d'un clou, and maybe Chanel if it's open because it's Saturday. And then we are going to go grab lunch. Sorry for all the impressions right now, it's a lot going on. That's where we're flying. Yeah, that's where we're flying. You do this all over the world or only in Sweden? All over the world. Okay. I didn't get that when I bought my ring. No, but Dubai is much safer, I feel. Guys, I haven't been able to vlog much in here just because I'm not allowed, but I have just decided which bracelet I was gonna go for and she just went to wrap it for me. I'm gonna call it an early birthday gift for myself. So I asked her to wrap it which is so stupid we're just sitting here waiting for her to wrap it get me the certificate and then we're headed off to go eat actually we've been here for a long time it's now 4 23 so well, it's, it's past only, lunch time yeah, yeah that's fair enough like you're doing a good purchase big purchase yeah, yeah, yeah you, it's you definitely sure a big purchase are, are there and everything. yeah it's not just like going into zara like out and about it's yeah. it's like a big thing so We've been here for a while, had a good chat with the lady. We're just gonna wait for her to bring it out and then we're off to go eat. I don't know what we're eating. You have to chew. Just sat here, chilling, so cute around. <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stupid. You know, seen a bunch of stuff like that, we use it. Exactly. Do it or you do it on any cases? Normally we don't do it for like fragrance. Okay. I would show you guys the Cartier bag and everything, but for safety reasons they put it in a white bag. But we're just done. It took like two hours, a long time. 
and now we're both starving so we're just looking for somewhere to eat and i will probably do an unboxing later or tomorrow of the bracelet we're just sad to have our late lunch it's now 5 it's dinner by now. <laughs> it's dinner by now but we still haven't had lunch so i'm gonna call it lunch i'm actually gonna dig in and try some of the bread and here. we're sat at nybrogata 38 if anyone wonders and we both got swedish meatballs they're so good, I've had them before. Um, we just ordered now, so but... Swedish huh? So Swedish, I have to take Swedish meatballs. Yeah, so we just got some bread and butter, and it's also phenomenal here, like... The butter looks so good. Whipped, whipped, whipped butter. butter. With bread, so... Oh my god, this one is so good, Philip. Like, this one is so, so good. Yeah, it looks it's so cute, it's like a miniature... Like a little muffin. Loaf, loaf of bread. It looks so phenomenal. Oh my god, that looks so good. Wow, this bread is like sweet and the butter is so whipped and creamy, like it just goes so perfectly together. Wow. I'm trying to show you, but the out of focus on my camera is so shit. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's going on? I love that you get it in this bag, it's so like... It's like you get candy or something. Yeah, uh, that one, yeah. Tastes like it, but yeah. Really? Okay, butter for me. Okay, one thing I have to say, to be a Saturday, Stockholm has been so dead today. Like, I think it's because people are... Uh, obviously traveling they're just taking their holiday now from work and they're leaving stockholm they're leaving town they're going to like their summer houses but i'm so shocked like usually on saturdays this place is such a like attractive place in stockholm it's filled like you won't even get a table at this time and today it was like me and three other people here what We're gonna be full by the time the uh, food comes. I'm full, I'm full now. <laughs> Not really, guys. I can eat a lot. That's one thing with me. I forgot to mention that I met a subscriber in Cartier. Like, how crazy is that? From Palestine. Palestine. She was just visiting Sweden. She said she loved it. Food just arrived. As I said, we had both ordered some meatballs with mashed potatoes, and then this is my favorite part, guys. The sides. Good. I told you. Oh wow. I did as surprised every time. It's so creamy, right? Mm. They get a good portion as well. I recommend you guys. Like if you're in Stockholm, please try this place. So good. <laughs> This guy just told his girlfriend to look at me, but like he's vlogging. And then I was like, and he was like, <laughs> we're both like staring at each other. Like, yes, I'm vlogging one. So, out of 10, what would you rate it? Six and a half. Six and a half? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. You better. I think mine are better. Not being biased, right? <laughs> oh my god, guys, we just- Oh! It's saying hi! It's winking, hello! We just walked past this window and this cat is staring at us. It's like a cat without fur. What are they called, Philip? Sphinx? Something like that. Oh, it's saying <laughs> hi! Hi! You wanna come out and play? <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. Actually, I, I don't know how I feel about cats without fur. A bit uncomfortable, not gonna lie, but like... They look like a... <laughs> new shaved posse. <laughs> no, like a new shaved ball sack, actually, I would say. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Yo, why are you so disgusting? Oh my god, I'm gonna get so demonetized. Sorry, guys. No, but actually, like, they look a bit... Mm, not right. 
to me. Imagine like touching or petting it, like it's just gonna feel so fucking weird. No. <laughs> Imagine how how like uh, smooth it must feel. Yeah, to like it's it. just gonna be. Oh, I think I need one of these cats because you know how I love a to like texture, yeah, yeah. hold stuff. Like she likes to like. Like this part of Philip is yeah, just so gooey I don't, I don't in a way. That. It's so weird. So imagine having a cat like that. I could just go out and hit and like, like squeeze it in. Ah, like that'd be so satisfying. <laughs> we are now back home. It's much later and I'm just getting ready. It's time for me to go to bed. And you know, sometimes we just feel so dirty from the day that you rather take a shower than just take your makeup off. That's me right now. Um, so I'm gonna hop in the shower, like literally just like scrub everything, brush my teeth. Not my hair though, because I just washed it yesterday, but yeah, I'm just gonna do everything. Today's been an incredible day, guys. Like actually, I'm so happy I vlogged it. We just spent a really lovely day in Stockholm, and I feel like we've both been so busy with work these past days or even weeks that we haven't had time for each other. So it was just so lovely to spend time, have lunch, and also I bought the bracelet, obviously. I would do an unboxing now, but it's actually quite late. Like it's 11 p.m. and I'm starting to get really tired so i think let's just like wake up tomorrow have a cup of coffee and just like do it in daylight i just put away my phone and i am gonna keep it away from myself for like an hour that's something i've started to implement into my daily routine of like either in the morning or in the afternoon don't use my phone just so i can kind of like reconnect with myself and kind of set the intention either for the day or for bed like before going to bed something i recommend everyone doing and definitely like implement even if it's like 20 minutes of your day like just put away your phone actually like focus on doing something else for me it's gonna be to get unready now Hold on, I think you guys are a bit too dark at the moment. Let me try to fix that. So I think it is just fair that I do an unboxing in this video of the piece that I got yesterday at the Cartier. So you guys were with me yesterday while we were in there. As you guys can see, I received it in a white bag. This is just for safety reasons. They still put the Cartier bag inside here. Not that I need to explain this to anyone, but I'm turning 25 in literally a month and um, this is just me buying a little gift for myself. I have definitely started to incorporate more nicer pieces into my collection, stuff that are more sustainable and higher quality. So definitely these are gonna last me for a long time, like my entire life, right? Anyway, so this is the bag, the actual bag that you get inside of the white one. So this is just an empty bag. In here we have all the receipts, all the certificates, stuff like that, important things that you should keep when getting jewelry like this. So I'm going to keep these aside. And in here is the actual box. We wrapped everything by hand so it took a little while but these are like waxed on there. Okay, so there is another box in here. This is the Cartier box. I'm going to keep this because it's literally beautiful. And just open it like that and then there's another box you guys know these like russian dolls this is giving that so this is the actual box that the jewelry comes in and you just press it and ta -da! here is my just un clue bracelet i got the one with the diamonds so they had a plain one they had the one with the diamonds and then they have a couple of different but this is the one that catched my eyes it is literally stunning if anyone's curious i got this one in a size 16 and it's a little bit special because it's a small size so the way you open it it's quite different you kind of do that and then it bends like how cool is that so it bends like that and then the way you put it on is just like you slide it in she literally had to do a full tutorial to me in this store which was so funny but that's how you put it on quite easy once you get a hang of it but this is basically what they look like together it was so important to me that this new piece was gonna fit my van cleef so i just had to walk in there a couple times i've been in there three times so far with my van cleef just tried it on to see how i like it definitely don't think i'll go crazy with it and add a whole bunch of other jewelries i kind of like it quite dainty so that's why i also picked it up in this small size 
um, the classic is very chunky and big. I didn't love it. Hopefully for the future, we can add a little watch for my left hand. That's like my kind of vision for this. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this little vlog. I know it was quite random. Like I don't usually do daily vlogs like this, but I just feel like if I'm going to be able to do more content, I need to do daily vlogs more often rather than weekly ones. And really you guys, I'm not in the mood to explain myself to why I'm spending money on stuff that I want to spend my money on. But in my last video, there was someone commenting that I've changed a lot and I've turned very materialistic and I hope you guys are not getting that vibe from me because I'm literally the same person I was the first day I started YouTube. I'm definitely just loving nice stuff. I've always loved nice stuff. It's just that I haven't always been able to get myself nice stuff. So definitely, definitely the same Diana. I hope you guys are still enjoying my videos and that you're still you know coming back because you enjoy me but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it do not forget to subscribe on the channel if you like my content and then um i guess let me know in the comments what you thought of this daily vlog and if you guys want more of it and then i will see you guys in my next video i love you so much take care now